Hey there, tech enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel, Always Secured Automation. Today, we're diving into a crucial tool for anyone working with pressure systems, the pressure calibrator. Whether you are calibrating sensors, gauges, or other equipment, this guide will walk you through the essential steps to use a pressure calibrator effectively. Let's get started. First, let's familiarize ourselves with the pressure calibrator. This tool is designed to measure and adjust the pressure readings of your equipment to ensure accuracy. It usually includes a pressure sensor, a display, and controls for calibration. Here's a quick rundown of the main components. The pressure sensor measures the pressure, the display shows the readings, and the controls allow you to adjust settings and calibrate your device. Before you start calibrating, make sure to follow these preparation steps. 1. Check the calibration certificate. Ensure your pressure calibrator has a valid calibration certificate. This ensures it's accurate and reliable. 2. Inspect the equipment. Verify that the calibrator and any associated hoses or adapters are in good condition. Look for any signs of wear or damage. 3. Connect to the pressure source. Attach the calibrator to a stable pressure source. This could be a test pump or a compressed air source. Make sure all connections are secure. Now, let's move on to the calibration process itself. 1. Turn on the calibrator. Power up the device and let it warm up if necessary. Some calibrators need a warm-up period for accurate readings. 2. Select calibration mode. Use the controls to select the calibration mode. This might be labeled as calibrate or zero depending on your model. 3. Apply known pressure. Apply a known pressure to the calibrator. This could be a specific pressure value provided by a pressure source or test pump. 4. Adjust the reading. Compare the calibrator's reading with the known pressure value. If there's a discrepancy, use the calibrator's controls to adjust the reading until it matches the known value. 5. Repeat as needed. For accuracy, you might need to repeat the calibration process at multiple pressure points. This ensures that the calibrator provides accurate readings across its entire range. And that's it. You've successfully calibrated your pressure equipment. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more tech tips and tutorials. If you have any questions or need further assistance, drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.